Hello, it's been a while, about a year. I want to get good at drawing backgrounds. I mostly neglect doing them because I'm really bad at them. So I've been watching tutorials and following along. The first thing I did, however, is redraw an old artwork I did back in junior year or senior year in high school. I started with some thumbnail sketches and decided on one. For this, all I used were default brushes. Uh, and clearly not many references by how little biodiversity the you tell me if stop fucking stuttering. I was still overwhelmed and overthinking and taking too long all right note to self use more references and loosen up but also use more brushes okay now let's make another background First again, a thumbnail. I try drawing some sort of castle and towers to shrink down and fit into place in the background. I also try drawing a cool looking flag for the city or region or whatever, I'm not really sure yet. I try to do some world building for an idea that I have that isn't really put together yet. So it's just abstract and messy. But basically, the city or kingdom is supposed to be very safe and a wonderful place to live with all the nature and stuff the towers you see are like watchtowers where security keeps the dangers away and the people safe looking at this now i realize that the towers don't really look stable enough to stand for long periods of time I watched a tutorial while drawing this by Mark Burnett. He talks about how stuff fades into the color of the sky as it gets further back and stuff like that. He explains everything much better, so go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. I noticed that when I was finished, my goal, which was to show the kingdom, was forgotten. The focus changed into the character but you can't even see the character that well. Maybe this makes the character more mysterious? I don't know. But overall, the focus is lost. Also, the foreground is too dark. I'm not satisfied. Another note to self, make your focus clear and decide on the composition. Also, learn how to draw grass better. Let's look up a tutorial on how to draw grass. Oh, look, I found one by Devin L. Kurtz. She gives away free brushes too, which is pretty cool. I played around with those. They're good, good stuff. Go check it out. Before I started this drawing, I came across this by Chris. I don't want to mispronounce your last name. But yeah, really interesting stuff. So go check out their work. Here's their Instagram. I spent really long on this single tree because I was thinking about this more than I should have. Yeah, I didn't loosen up as I said I would. It's really hard. After a while, I got tired of it. I just wanted to color and keep moving forward. I was also thinking about where I wanted to place the character in this piece. I used the brushes I got from the How to Draw Grass video by Devin L. Kurtz. So yeah, here's the result. Yup. Another note to self, practice drawing trees alone, as well as leaves. The leaves didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. I wanted them to look like this. Yeah, I know it doesn't look very good. Backgrounds are what I struggle with the most. But anyways, what do you think? I'd appreciate advice. Do you struggle with backgrounds? Let me know in the comments. To finish this video- Okay, I lied. Uh, I'm doing one more. For this one, I didn't watch a tutorial, but I used a lot of references, as you should. I tried to do something cool with this one, but yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't working out, so I gave up and started a new one. 
I just can't draw trees, man. And grass still confuses me a little bit. When I erased everything and started this new thumbnail, I wasn't expecting it to go anywhere. I was frustrated with how long it took me to make anything. I hated how indecisive I was. I just didn't want it to look bad, but yeah, here I just didn't care anymore. I was just drawing what I saw. Even though it doesn't look that good, I had more fun drawing this one. It's fun drawing without caring too much. Okay, I'm done now. For real. To finish this video, I'll tell you about a dream I had about a week ago. In a school field trip somewhere in, some of my cousins were also there for some reason. The scenery was hills of grass with a pathway leading into the, well, I couldn't see that far. To my left, a small building, but it also strangely looked like a castle. Well, more like a abandoned princess tower. What the fuck is that? Nobody else saw at the time, but eventually I caught it. I had a bad feeling all of a sudden. I don't know why, but I was very uneasy. But I knew it wasn't because of the spider. I just felt like closing the gates behind me. The feeling was similar to when I'm sleeping and I wake up suddenly and there's a spider near me, very close to me. I've had the same experience a good handful of times for me to notice it. Has anyone else had this? Or is this just like a coincidence? Whenever this would happen, I would think to myself, what if I just kept sleeping? Let me in. 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 No. The dream changed. Me and my classmates were now in a race. And of course, the dream made me slower than everyone else. Bro, when I ran, it was like I had no gravity. Everyone was very competitive. To be honest, I don't think I can describe the rest of the dream because it became too abstract. But I think I understood what was happening, kind of. But basically we had to pass through this door and yeah, or else something bad would happen, I think. Just a feeling. So yeah, that was the dream. What did you dream today? Thank you for watching.